She is probably one of the most incredibly kind people I think I've ever come across. You know, producing can be intense when you're on deadlines and everything is going haywire or perfect. Producers can be a little bit like, um, she never got that way. She literally was able to prioritize and get things done, get the story done, and never once did I ever hear her really raise her voice. She was extremely organized. And beyond all of that though, seriously, one of the most caring producers I think I've ever had a chance to work with. She really cared about the content of her show and the quality of her show. My name is Jenna Abrahamson. I teach uh, journalism and digital media courses at the University of South Florida. I got my undergraduate degree at USF and I started with telecommunication production. So I did all of the TV uh, production classes and I was able to air three TV shows um, on WSF. At the time, I think it was like the 13th largest media market. Um, and I loved the shooting and editing, but I decided I wanted to be a producer. So I switched to broadcast news in my last semester of school here, um, and actually took the four to focus class, uh, which helped me learn how to produce TV. And now I get to teach it. I think what USF has is a gem in Jeanette. She is capable, competent, and caring, and that is not an exaggeration. She literally legitimately cares about the success and the welfare of every single student she touches. And I think that takes a great deal of heart that people really don't understand. And so you, you combine that caring with someone who actually knows the job and knows how to do the story and knows how to prepare the students for the story. You got to win win. She's I mean, she really when she left, I thought to myself, this really sucks for us because we're losing a great producer. But then I knew what USF was getting. So I was happy because I think it's going to make the profession as a whole even better because she's teaching students the right way to do things and, and how to, to do this business. And I think that's huge. After USF, I moved to San Diego where um, I started working at an ABC affiliate, uh, KGTV. Um, I started as an assignment editor um, and then worked my way up to producing newscasts. Um, that's where I won my first Emmy, which is really exciting. I really knew immediately that I wanted to teach. As soon as I started teaching, I knew that that was what I wanted to do. Um, so I love TV and I, I think I thought I would miss it more. I didn't realize how amazing it would be to like bond with my students and I know that sounds really cheesy but I didn't think that I could grow to like love my students so much and it's so fulfilling to spend time with people who are just like full of passion and energy and be surrounded with people who like love what I love is it makes me love it more so I love journalism I love video I love editing even more now than I did when I was actually doing it because now I get to work with students who may not even know that they actually like doing that. And I think that's probably my favorite part is teaching students that they are really good at something that they may not have even thought of trying out before. Like I know I'm never gonna be bored because I get to try all these new things and get students really excited about trying new things. Um, and then they teach me things oftentimes that I didn't know about. Um, and I'm excited that I get to like help create that.